Hello students. We derived formula for finding mean of the group data using assumed mean method in the previous video. So students, now let us solve an example to understand this formula better. Let us solve an example using this formula. For that, consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory. Find mean of the given data using assumed mean method. Now students, to find mean using assumed mean method, first we will have to make a table with class intervals and its corresponding frequencies fi as shown. The first step is to calculate xi that is midpoint or class mark of each classes in the table. Recall that we can calculate xi for each class using formula upper limit plus lower limit upon 2. So for first class Lower limit is 500 and upper limit is 520. Add both of them and divide by 2. We get 510. Similarly, for second class, lower limit is 520 and upper limit is 540. Add them and divide by 2 to get 530. And you can calculate midpoint or class mark of all other classes using same formula. Now the values of xi so obtained. Now let us list all these values of xi in a next column. So students now the table has three columns class interval that is classes, number of workers which is nothing but frequency corresponding to each class and midpoint xi of each class. Now the next step is to select our assumed mean. For that observe our column of xi and select any value of xi and call it as assumed mean a. Here we observe that class 540 to 560 is the middle class. Let us assume the corresponding xi of this class as assumed mean a. So, our assumed mean will be 550. Students, again note that choice of assumed mean is totally independent and random. The value of mean that we will obtain at the end of calculation does not depend on the value of assumed mean. So, choice of a is random and depends on individual calculating the mean. Now students calculate deviations di by using formula di equal to xi minus a. In our table for the first class di is 510 minus 550 which is equal to minus 40. For the second class it will be 530 minus 550 which is minus 20 and so on we can calculate values of di and list them in the next column. Now students calculate the product of fi and di. Accordingly in our example we get the values of fi di's as follows. Also take the summation of all FIDIs that is add all the products and also add all the values of frequencies. Therefore, we have sigma FI as 50 and sigma FIDI as 360 and we already know our assumed mean A is 550. So now let us use the formula and find mean X bar for the given data by assumed mean method. Therefore, x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di upon sigma fi. On substituting the values, we get 550 plus 360 upon 50. And on solving, we get value of mean as 557.2. 
अपना स्टूडेंट्स मीन और एवरेज वेजेस फॉर वर्कर्स इज 557.2 रुपीस सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हाउ वी कैलकुलेट द मीन ऑफ एनी गिवन ग्रुप डेटा यूजिंग अज्यूम्ड मीन मेथड इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट अदर मेथड स्टेप डेविएशन मेथड टू कैलकुलेट मीन ऑफ द गिवन ग्रुप डेटा